Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rathod. I have done the MD in Forensic Medicine and today I will discuss about Forensic Taphonomy. Forensic Taphonomy, it is an interdisciplinary study and interpretation of post-mortem process of human remains in the disposition context. That is, the history of changes of the body following death. So this includes the study, the changes which the body undergoes after death. Science of death includes immediate science, in this, there is first one is the pre-match permanent and complete session of functions of brain. Next is permanent and complete session of function of heart, permanent and complete session of functions of lung. But those are the immunet signs. Early signs includes which appears after two to twenty-four hours, that is mainly the cellular death of the body occurs. First, there is pallor and loss of elasticity of skin, changes in the eye, cooling of body, it is also called as algal mortis, postmortem lidity, postmortem hypertrophy, also known as liver mortis, changes in the muscles, which First, there is primary facility of muscles, then there is lagrimatis, then there is secondary facility, and also which includes caloric spasm. So these are early changes which within which occurs within 24 hours. After 24 hours, within 8 to 24 hours, the ch changes which after 24 hours occurs are the late changes. This include decomposition, also known as putrefaction, then there is adipocere formation, saponification, and mummification. We will discuss each of these things in detail future videos. Today we will discuss about immediate changes that is somatic death. In that first is the irreversible cessation function of the brain including brain stem. So complete cessation or irreversible cessation, irreversible in the sense that that brain function cannot be revived. This is the earliest sign of death with stoppage of function of nervous system. Condition which stimulates similar to brain death includes prolonged fainting attack, Regaining material phenomena, epilepsy, mesmeric trance, catalepsy, narcosis, and agriculture. So, these are few things which should be kept in mind to differentiate between brain death and natural, uh, which is which similar to brain death. Tests which can be done to confirm brain death, the reverse cessation of brain include flat EEG, that is electroencephalogram, which is a form of which uh, records the electric activity of brain. And loss of EEG rhythm will be confirmatory, will tell the cessation of brain function. Then it is for cessation of respiration. If there is this complete stoppage of respiration for more than four minutes, usually causes death, and it is a more confirmatory that the respiration has stopped. Stoppage of respiration can be established by following tests. First is by infection, there is no that is by there is no visible respiratory movements. Whenever there is respiration is there, chest movements occurs as a two and four movements, which is absent in respiratory arrest. Palpation, respiratory movements can be felt on the chest region. Auscultation by using stethoscope. Breath sounds cannot be heard from any part of the lungs, which is a confirmatory again. Strip tests like feather test, mirror test, Winslow test are no longer utilized. Those are all the past, which we then pure past. Feather test ways to then where they keep the feather on near the nose. Mirror test where the breath will placed, a mirror will be placed on the front of the face and if the person is breathing, it may cause a mist like that. These tests are not done nowadays. Respiration may be briefly without death, as in cases like voluntary breath holding, drowning cases, Chinese stroke respiration, and newborns. So these are the conditions where respiratory movements are not present, but they can be revived, or it is just by it may be by voluntary movement, it may be not be seen. Next immediate sign is it reverses a session of circulation. Stoppage of earth for more than 3 to 5 minutes is irreversible and results in death. Following tests are done to uh, test for circulations. First we can do is auscultate, pulp, palpate the radial, brachial, femoral or carotid pulsations which will be absent when circulation is stopped. Auscultation of heart sounds, apex of heartbeat over the whole pericardial or particularly over the area of apex will be confirmatory. Doing electrocardiogram that is ECG in case of session of circulation, the ECG curve will be absent and tracing shows a flat line without any elevation or depression. This is one of the confirmatory way of assessing the person's death where flat ECG is considered as the person has died. Other tests include diaphanous, magnus test, ICAR test, pressure test, cut or heat test. These are all absolute and nowadays not done. Uh, for example, some tests like they used to do tie a ligature on the fingers or just do the punch, pinch the fingers to test the blanching of the skin. So these are done 
which there were name like magnus psychiatrist but nowadays it's not done these are my references thank you